What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. The Terror Infamy. Yeah. We're on episode seven, My Perfect World. This is, uh, it was an episode, man. It was an episode. Tell me what you think. You liked it? You said you liked it. Yeah, I mean, I like the show, man. I like this series. I, I know that show. we'll get into... I know that we'll get into some of the gripes that you have about this episode, this episode which I, might, a little, I might agree on some of the things. Yeah. But overall, I just think that there was some fantastic um, acting moments, especially with Luz and Chester in the car um, later toward the episode. I just think there was um, a lot of uh, emotional kind of scenes that were done really well. Right. So, yes, um, another good one for me. Another good one for me. I really did enjoy it. All right. So let me get into my gripes about it. I don't normally gripe about this this show, but mm. all of a sudden, I feel like after last week, it's like, where do we go from here? Like, I feel like they might have jumped the shark on this one. In, in that, last week you have this this epic like supernatural, Tizo, Tizo, Tizo. you know, yeah, like this whole thing, and then like she escapes the fire and everything, so it opens up where we see the skin how. She's mm -hmm. getting herself new skin and stuff, and she's putting the makeup on. And it's just like it's just looking worse and worse. It's like hilarious. Like her fucking body's looking worse and worse. You know. Um, uh, I think. I mean, I think they do a great job with the makeup and oh, everything. No, 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 absolutely. But that's my point, yeah. though. Yeah. I mean, it, story wise, like her body. Just so you like, mean decrepit enough to yeah, where people just, she would just be like, keeps you know, what piling the on the makeup and shit. Yeah. Like she doesn't care. <laughs> But the thing yeah. is, the, the problem I have with that is like, okay, she's still searching. She's still searching. So we see a couple of things in this in this episode where for, we, we get to see her actually use somebody. She jumps into – I'm sorry. Let me phrase that. She she uses somebody and doesn't kill them. She jumps into uh, – what's his name again? Bowen? Uh, Major Bowen, yeah. Right? She jumps into him but doesn't kill him. So then – so she – it's like she's trying to get information. But she doesn't kill him, which is interesting – because she usually kills everybody she goes in. She killed Luce's dad. She got information from him about where they're where they are. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it was a little like, all right, you didn't kill Bone because the part of, that wasn't you're not done with him yet because you have to have the whole Ken thing, you know, which we'll get to in a second. But then I really want to talk about the whole twin thing. So you got it to lead up to it, you know. Okay, so all this leads into into themselves, and and, and Chester Chester's not gets the letters back. Decides I'm gonna go to her, gets himself transferred. While transferring, sees his escape, jumps out, gets going, finds her, gets to L.A. somehow. I don't know. The timeline in this in this episode kind of pissed me off because it's like everything happened. All of a sudden, it's like they're there, they're there, they're there. Of course, we don't know how much time happened in between. But yeah, obviously, time has passed. I mean, but we not always that, complain about that kind of thing. Yeah, but not that much time could have passed if the way they were presented. I don't know. Anyway, he gets to her. They decide they're going to go run away together. Or he's going to drive it to to to. I, well, I at first, he yeah, he asks her, you know, where would you know, where in the world would you want to be or something. So at, at first, it's not necessarily like let's run off together. That just kind of happened at the end when they finally got to New Mexico. Well, no, but yeah, but see now you see I th I didn't hear her say New Mexico. I thought it was Mexico. Yeah, no, it was New either Mexico. Either way, either way, they're in L.A. and it's like I don't know. It's not that I don't know. Whatever they, they get there, <laughs> but the, but then but before that, he goes to the freaking orphanage. Yes, to find out information. So the orphanage is in L.A. I guess, like. I don't know. I mean, I don't care about like who cares where the orphanage is because because it's it, I don't know for some reason I'm getting all caught up in in like this time. I don't know. I, to me, that's like too nitpicky. But, to me. All right, but how about this? How about this then? All of a sudden, it's twins. That was that was my. It was a little weird because obviously, it was so. The last episode was Tizo. Tizo. You know? Tizo. No. It was, no yeah. mention of 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 twins. And we saw and we saw her with the one child. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, on the street and then eventually bringing this child to this orphanage, which is kind of strange. So uh, and then did, did then, she did she uh, I don't know. Did she give the other child to somebody else and, and then kept the one? No, because I mean, it's in, in those <laughs> files. It says the brother of this guy. I don't even remember his name now, but but they and then he said, oh, he was given away or something. He doesn't know, and I'm just like, 
But then to exacerbate that, she mm. later on to the father when she sees Luce's dad and she's like just just talking, just spitting out shit. She's like, my boys, my boys. Oh, so now it's your boys before in the first half of the episode, it's Taizo, Taizo, uh, Taizo. Now it's my boys. Yeah, so, I can see, I can see, I can see they, that. There's, a, I, there's a misconnection gonna, somewhere. Like the way, the, bit, the way but, they presented the story in this episode, it's a little disjointed. I didn't, you know, it, it, yeah, it just, it, it threw me a little bit because this, this, you know, up to now, this, the show's been on point for me and I, and I really haven't yeah. had any issues with, with things like this. And then all of a sudden it's now we have this stuff. I'm not saying I don't like the concept of that. I'm not saying that. It's well, just, let's, just, let's, let's just see where it goes. We have three more episodes left. They're not going to, they're not going to just add a child, a twin for no reason. This, this, this other, and I forgot the name. Um, I forgot what it was. I, I should have written it down because yeah. I'm usually pretty good with that, but they wouldn't have included this piece of information for no reason. So I'm assuming that within the next you know, couple of, couple episodes. We're gonna find this 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 other child is gonna have some kind of big piece in this in this puzzle in this story. So I'm not going to um, kind of knock it as maybe as much as. Okay, know, well let other, me ask you this you know. then. Let me ask you this then. So yeah, what? So Yuko is just continuing like a Terminator to just look for Taizo. Yeah. Yeah. So, I okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the character. I get it. That's that's her. That's her. You know what? What? What she needs. This is what she needs. She needs Taizo. Taizo. Or now my boys. I guess right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but it's just. But again, again, like it's just kind of like okay. Well, now we're back into the same thing. You know. I don't know. I just. I just feel like this episode might have been a little bit of a of a, a misstep. A step back. However, I will say. We got to see a lot of see Thomas Howell, and, and you know his major Bowen. Like we got to see, a, got to see a lot of him in yeah. this episode, and a lot of Amy, and you know, and Ken, which was I was fine with. So yeah, know? so Ken, you know, good man. That that kid's annoying. I mean, not, not for nothing. He he was a little bit of a he was a little bit annoying. You know, again, when we talk about these characters, guys, we're not we're not saying, you know, the actors are are, are fantastic in in their role. You know, so much so that we're reacting to the character, not the actor. Yeah. So when we say we don't like a character, it's because of who they are, because of who that that character is. And yeah. Ken is an annoying fucking asshole. He's just he's well. Just I mean, at least at least he stepped it up. I mean, he, he well, you know, no, Amy, no. Let's hold he on. Did, he did. He no, did. let's hold yes, on a he second. Did. He stepped up to do what? To just get himself killed. He he no, just started well, fighting the, the fuck. He just started fighting the, the dude. Life. Yeah, he did it to save the life of was, all the children me, and like, all the people that were that was the dumbest thing gonna though. die. Of dude. course, I understand that. But and she but says you don't that just start fighting the guy in charge of the camp. What did you think was gonna happen? Well, he he went into that knowing what could happen. He, he she Amy says after Ken tells her, "Hey, you got to talk to this guy," and it doesn't work. Amy obviously tells him, "Listen, if you're, you know, do what you got to do, kind of thing." I forget exactly yeah, what she, she said. Yeah, she egged him on, right? Step know, it up, yeah. kind of. Thing. Yeah. Step it up, then, if you if if you're all talk or whatever, something like that. She says. So that leads to Amy disconnecting the uh, the voice recorder in in Major's room and Ken holding him uh, hostage in his in his cabin or whatever it is. So. Listen, do you think Ken's a smart dude? He's not stupid enough to think that after all is said and is done, is uh, the the major's just going to let him free. So he he went out. It was like a martyrdom. He went out there. Well, I think no, I don't think exactly. he thought that far, Mike. He didn't think oh, that no, going he, in. No, he, when he was he, there, he, it was like, all right, well. And then once he I mean, found I, out that Amy made the phone call, what was he doing at that point? There was no, nothing to prove. Now it, it was done already. So that's when he decided, okay, well, this is, I guess, whatever. So that's what that was. But what I don't get is, so the major, you know, he being a little creepy, and 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 he's, you know, he's got Amy in his like in his in his quarters, and at the end there, and she's got the tape recorder in the room. Well, no, that's when the tape recorder was outside the window. That's what I'm, the, well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. But she's got it in the well, room. Well, that's though. the she's got that's the... the question. Who did that? Did she do that? Did the major do that? Did like, why would he do that? do that? Oh, mate, but why? That's what I'm saying. So I was trying to think. I'm trying I to, trying to find out. I thought she did for some a... reason. Like, 
I looked well, up that, and it was she was standing there. Like I was writing notes, and then all of a sudden I looked up. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Then like, I see it go down. I'm like, did she do that on purpose? Because she, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe well, the it, major it, did it. I was thinking it could possibly have been the major because he knows obviously that she messed with it. So if he hid it, then there's no way she can find out where it is. No, but she, he's recording stuff then. So he's yeah, recording. He's that. been recording every single thing that well, happens right, in that but, cabin. Or is it? Or so is it, she knows where it is. Well, That's why well, he, hold on. It doesn't have to be the same one, Mike. This actually could be a different one. No, no, come on, no, no. I'm just saying. No. No, not 1943 or whatever. It's not like they have multiple recorders that they can just pass Dude, around the whole of thing. Of course, he, of course, they do. He's the military. No. He can have whatever he wants. He's not gonna just. No, I don't. I don't buy that one second. I think that it was either him by hiding it under there. He could still record what goes on. If in fact you can hear through the through the the floorboards. No, it had a. You didn't see the dude. That was a mic cable. He had the the cable was going through, dude. I thought that was like the power cord. No, I think that was like for like a microphone or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, unless I, unless I again, I, I looked up when it was panning down, so I might have missed where it was connected to. Yeah, it, it looked. It was coming out of the window, so I was. Th- I'm assuming that was like a power outlet plug. Nah, I don't, maybe it's the mic. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know who did it, and it's whatever. I guess we'll find out. Thing is, there's only three episodes left. Mm-hmm. I assume this is going to wrap up. Yeah. So I'm a little just I'm just a little confused as to where I don't know where it's gonna like where is it gonna go like what's it gonna go the next episode looks pretty interesting Luce says she's not here for you in the coming attractions so that could either so that mean her? a twin that can be her or you know I don't think it would be her um after I mean she had her chances to go after Luz is he not Taizo not. I think, I mean, or see the no, other one. I, I'm, just think so. I'm just thinking. I'm just. I'm just thinking. She would know the difference between. Would she? They're twins, and she's only going after the one, unless the other one died. That's what I'm saying. Maybe the other one's dead, and that's why. Uh, I don't know. It just. Feel, I feel like you know at this I mean? late in the game. I, I feel like at this late in the in the season, it's like throwing that in. Is it you know? Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping, yeah, and I'm gonna, gonna be. I'm gonna be optimistic that yeah. something really cool is gonna come out of that. I mean, yeah, like I said, this is this is for me one like the first misstep. That well, it, it was just it was just it was a little jarring having yeah. all of these things kind of happen down. I liked you know Chester finding loose and then finally talking like they needed to do that, and mm-hmm. you know I enjoyed that. I enjoy those characters. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just you know it sucks that her dad died. You know it's it's uh, she's yeah. you know so and everyone's just sick. But like, yeah, that nothing came of that either. All of a sudden they're they're in the hospital and they're all better. Well, because they got medical help, they were moved out of the camp. I guess, but it's like again, so so, they, see, so all so a, Ken died. Yeah, but for children yeah, to just live a lot of, and. Then, bunch of people in I the guess what I'm there. saying is it just it just seems like a lot of things were like we're gonna put this here for this and this here for this it was just very blatant to me then so it's like I don't know well listen dude know. if we're dealing with if we're de- dealing with short st- series of 10 episodes and whatnot you might have one of these in there or you might have some no no uh, yeah you're right it looks look, you know it's it's, well, listen, it's fine I, hey I I my I, one thing about this episode that I really enjoy, and I enjoy this really in in all the episodes, is when Yuko goes into the into the other body. The way that the people, you know, how she orientates herself in the new bones and yeah. stuff. Especially even when she got into uh, Major Bowen, the way he was like creeping yeah. and rolling, you know. Oh, and then the father loses father. I think the actors just do a fantastic job just at that. I just think that they do it's a fun. really. They, they're probably like, yeah, I get to be possessed yeah. now. Yes. So it's. I mean, I think that's like uh, that, that's some of the coolest um, stuff that that was coming out of the series. Uh, Yuko's makeup. I still think it's just, that whole that whole opening scene. I thought was fucking. Oh, it, it's God, like it was so nasty. It's it like so, uh, Nightmare Before so cool. Christmas, like Sally or something. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's just um, you know that kind of thing has really I, I've really enjoyed from from this series. Well, the she's all burnt to a stuff. crisp, and you know, yeah, she's, she's yeah, got to get fixed, man. Skins yeah. from her from from this other body, you know that that. that uh, uh, from an autopsy, I guess, from from yeah. this, this doctor. So yeah, I mean, really cool stuff. I mean, I can pick where you picked on some things, but overall, I'm really, I'm really, um, 
enjoying the series and yeah, I'm looking invested over in everything. It. I like I'm it. Really you know, I think I think it's concept. getting a little. I, you know, I read I read other reviews and stuff online and whatnot. I think other people are getting a little uh, nitpicky with it and 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 whatnot. And you know, but hey, as far as what, what are they saying? Ah, oh, man, I don't, I can't remember specifics. I've read I because I read them. It's like it's just it's an amalgamation because I read a couple of them and it's like ah. every week, you know. So I can't tell what was what, but just basically, you know, kind of like what I'm saying. Like it's 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 you know where it's going and, and whatnot. But yeah, you know, like I said. You know, for me, this was a misstep. This episode, not not to say it didn't have really good stuff in it. You know, mm-hmm. I just think some of the story beats, to me, just were a little out of place or didn't make sense or I don't see where they're yeah. going or I don't know. Just a yeah. misstep. Just for me, yeah. it's a little bit of a misstep. But again, it had some good stuff. I I, I love I love seeing a lot of see Thomas I mean, Howell. I like I like that he had a lot to do in this episode. It was, it was, there's a lot of, there's a lot of drama, you know, there's a lot of drama in this, in this. And we, we, and we spoke about that all the time. It's, it's not necessarily always action. It's not that kind of series, you know, it's, um, it's the, the drama in there is real and they do a great job. The actors even look at, I mean, we talked about this already quickly about Chester and how he's talking to his adopted parents when he's getting taken away initially. They're like, yeah, you want to say anything to your parents? He's like, my parents are dead. Like, I'm like, holy shit! Like, this guy is, is um, really, you know, he's he's going low. He's giving those those low blows. And even one part of the episode, Henry was like, if he don't, he didn't care to see us. What do we, you know, what should we? Give yeah, shit he made about his choice. Really? Whatever, let it go. So, uh, yeah, it's a dramatic. It's a really a dramatic horror. I mean, what would you really classify it? There's, it's a it's a it's a tense. Um, series, and I really, I really like that about yeah. it. It's a different kind of show um, that we normally review on AMC. So, yeah. three episodes left. We'll see what happens, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. We'll see what happens yeah. with this whole win yeah. thing. So, look, and if it works out. So, yeah. So again, those are, that's what we think this episode. You guys, let us know what you think that <laughs> what you found out in this episode, yeah. and, and uh, you know whether you. Yeah, what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? You know? Yeah, yeah. Write it down in the comments. Let us know. Uh, like Chris says, do you agree more along Chris's um, point of view uh, for this review? Um, I'm a little bit less objective, I think. But uh, write down in the comments section below. Let us know what you think about this whole twin thing. Is it just thrown out there out of out of left field or not? We want to hear from you. Get uh, those comments in. ThirdPersonPod.com in the Google search brings you right to our YouTube page, Third Person Pod on all the other social media outlets. We're there. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys, so please write in there and let us know what you think about the Terra Infamy. Yep. All right. That's it. You guys, uh, you know, yeah, like you said, where to find us and all that stuff. Um, uh, go check out some of our other stuff. We, we, we yes. say it all the time. It's it's in the videos here and there, just wherever it's on the screen. Just go do it. <laughs> go watch it. It's good stuff. We're going to see you next time for the Terror Infamy. That way, right? Is yeah, it that below way? You, it's that? below you and yeah. above me. There we go. Like that. All right. Thanks. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Thanks, guys. Peace.